actually this reminds me of a story. Um, mm-hmm. Many of you have probably heard the name Kevin Hart before. That uh, famous actor. I know he does actor a lot, comedian. Actor all comedian. That. You know, does Director, a lot of work producer. with The Rock and yeah. Yeah. Um, so he had always been very driven in his career, and he got into a car accident about a year ago yeah, now. Yeah, broke his back. Yeah. Like, it was really bad. Like, he yeah. said he broke a big portion of had his back. Had to, like, relearn how to walk and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Working out. He's a big, yeah. he, he's a really big fitness buff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he said that it was probably, obviously none of us want to have to go through something like that, but he said it was able to help him step back. And he realized that he was married to his work and dating his family. And so now he's he ha- he's had to teach himself to, like for instance, he says his work days would normally go to like seven p.m. Well, now he's off. I think it was like three thirty or something like that. He leaves his office and he makes sure he's home. Um, he tries to be home every night for dinner with his family. That's like one of his musts now because mm-hmm. he wants that connection time. He said if he's working on a movie, then he really focuses in on the work that you know the task at hand. When he's done filming. He will say, I'm sorry, but I can't take any new jobs for the next, like, um, I think it was like two months or something. And he says that is like family time where he really devotes himself. And, he, you know, so we've we've experienced things like this in our life, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, and there is going to be times in your life where there's more attention that has to go, let's say, to business or something, you know, to, to your work. But we've had to actually find that balance because think about it. If you're paying a lot of attention to something, but then barely any attention to something else, well, one gets weaker while the other gets stronger. And, you know, if you're not paying any attention to your physical well-being and you're not working out, taking care of this vessel that you have, which is what's going to carry you through your life, um, eventually you're going to run out of steam, you know? So how, how's it going to go with all that work you're doing? (laughs) You get fat, you get sick. Yeah. Unmotivated. And I, I know because I was there, you know, I wasn't mm-hmm. getting sick, but I was always tired. And, mm-hmm. you know, I got obese. I was like 248 pounds, not working out and just, yeah, it just, yeah. it sucked. It was a, it was a struggle yeah. <laughs> to be like that, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. And I turned around and said, okay, I need more of this life stuff versus the business stuff, the professional stuff, mm-hmm. working on my business, you know, like almost all the time. And I had to make the time. I'm like, okay, I'll just give myself at least 30, 45 minutes a day to work out and then spend an extra 45 minutes to an hour a day, uh, you know, broken up throughout the day to count my calories, um, you know, so that way, because, you know, just eating better and eating healthier is not going to cut it because you need to monitor how many calories you have coming in. Yes, protein, <laughs> the, the macros, the protein, you know, is very important, the carbs and the fat, and obviously balancing those out. So I do monitor the protein and all that. Um, but, you know, again, it's going to come down to the amount of calories you eat. Yeah. So, you know, I had to commit to doing that, which is part of the life stuff. Mm-hmm. So I took that time and I said, okay, well, I'm going to watch a little less TV. I'm going to work on my business a little less. Uh, you know, 30 minutes to an hour less a day, yeah. taking that from somewhere else um, that, you know, that wasn't serving me and helping me out. And I put that there instead. And then, you know, with that, the exercise and everything else and, yeah. uh, you know, lean it down. Thanks for watching the Rockstar in Life podcast, your source for unleashing your inner rock star. Thanks again. And don't forget to be a rock star in your life and make the world your stage.